all good morning this is Russ welcome to RV or TV well had a great stay at the Panamint resort there uh, I'd never slept so good in a long time I don't know if it's the elevation the clean air dry air whatever anyway we're pulling over this pass over these mountains we're gonna start dropping down and we'll actually get into the Death Valley the below sea level stuff but this is a huge mountain pass. But look at the beauty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? According to the maps, we're going to top out up here about 4,000 foot and then we start dropping down. It's early in the morning, about 7 in the morning. Okay, there's the top. We made it. <laughs> that was a long climb. That was like 10 miles to come up this thing. Alright, there goes a Class C. A lot of rental uh, motorhomes. Bunch of them out here. Well, that's a good way to rent a motorhome and go explore Death Valley. Miles wise to go across Death Valley, it's only a little over a hundred, but there's a few stops to make too. You can just feel the temperature going way up as I'm dropping down here. Okay, this is a little uh, dry camp area. I see tents off to the left, they got bathrooms, and it is a fee area. You got to pay a fee here. Look at the sun hitting them mountains though, isn't that pretty? Alrighty, get back on the road. Nice road too, it's extremely well maintained. They warn you not to pull off to the sides, it's really sandy and pretty soft on the shoulders. Okay, well here's our next little town to stop in. This place is called Stovepipe Wells. <laughs> and looks like they got a little gas station and store and some government buildings on the right. Well, this is a lot newer than uh, Paramount resort cool looking store pretty modern looking well they got fuel buck a gallon cheaper than uh, paramount or paramount excuse me and they got a lot more rv hookups here those are full hookups or power water and uh then they got a ton of dry camping area too. But look at the view those uh, rigs have. Look at the view of the mountains. I have no clue what they charge. I'll put links in for all this stuff in the description. Well, not a bad little stop. Pretty cool. Get fuel, spend the night something to eat and you get the view of Death Valley <laughs> there's some sand dunes see those out there we gotta go check those out next and the sign says elevation sea level so we're at zero. Oh boy all right let's get on the road Those sand dunes, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but they're really, they really stand out by themselves out there. Normally, 
Most of this stuff has a lot of rock in it, but that's pure sand. See how they're mounded up too from all the wind? All right, well, we're gonna pull in here. There's the dunes. All these places have really nice parking areas. Restrooms, a lot of tour buses. You see a bu bunch of buses going through here. All right, get parked, go check it out. Okay, got some storyboards about the dunes. There's a rattlesnake going across the sand. Yikes. And see what this one says up here. There you go, here's a name. Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes. Well, this stuff's really hard to walk in. It's just like powder. I ain't gonna go all the way out there, but try to get a few pictures here for you. But look at the mountains against the sand dunes. That looks cool. We're kind of in between these two mountain ranges. I bet that's what creates these. I bet the winds swirl around in here or something. Who knows? I'll have to Google this later. Pretty cool though. If you're into hiking, this is a good place. But boy, am I thirsty. Uh, I just drank a bottle of water and I'm still thirsty. It's really dry here. Alrighty, the journey continues. I'm going to see what else I can get into down the road. Hey, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. Hope everyone has a great day and don't forget to travel safe.